there, my beautiful lovelies. So today I'm going to show you how I clean my skirts and bodices that I don't actually throw in the wash. And I thought this would be a really good tutorial type, informative, what I've kind of discovered. Because I know that there's a big concern, especially in our modern wardrobe sense, that you wear it and you wash it. And in some families, they don't wash every single time they wear something. They might wear something two or three times before they wash it. But generally speaking, culturally and societally, we have this understanding that you wear something, it gets dirty, you throw it in the wash. Now, historically speaking, garments were uh, worn, all of your undergarments, so your chemise and your drawers, anything that was up against your skin, yes, you wore it once and you washed it especially if it was sweaty or hot and sticky outside. Uh, but your outside garments were not necessarily washed per se. So I wanted to show you my kit. I have this beautiful wooden box. It's a bamboo box that I got. And it holds all of the things that I need to uh, clean my skirts especially. So this came from an antique store. Um, it is a clothing brush. Um, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have also another clothing brush that I got in an antique store. Um, I got this one for five bucks and I got this one for nine dollars. So under ten dollars, well under twenty total, I have two kinds of fabric brushes. Um, now, this one I got, it is actually a type of shoe brush, and it's got um, harder plastic bristles. I was actually looking for a bore bristle brush, brush, and I didn't find one for clothing, but I did find a synthetic one, and I do use this one for like um, heavier duty fabrics. Um, I also keep in here... Uh, pins my bodkin collection for lacing things up. I also have two kinds of glove stretchers. I have a pair of metal ones and a pair of uh, the not quite plastic stuff that I can't remember what it's called and I'll link above what that's called because I can't think of it right now. Um, okay, so I have a skirt that I just recently wore out to a photo shoot. This is my frozen skirt, um, which I'm also converting to some daily wear. Now, what happened at the bottom of this, and I know on camera it's not going to show because I've tried, I've tried shooting this a couple times. Um, I have a lot of threads that need to be clipped, so I'm going to tidy that up. But one of the things that I noticed, um, I walked around in the dirt a little bit, and all along these plackets, these. Uh, really beautiful box pleats on the synthetic fabric have gotten dusty and also the fabric under, underneath has gotten dusty and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush them clean. So I'm going to lay this out and then I'm going to show you what I do. here, I need to clip these threads, but I'll do that here in a minute. Um, so it, I know it's really hard and it doesn't come up on film very well, but there's a, there's a really nice bit of dirt on this part of the seam. So I like to start with my soft brush and I like to see if I can't get that to come out before I, oh, it's really dusty. Um, I can see that the dust is coming off really well, but if I have, so I've got a patch here that's a little bit darker, and I'll use my stiffer bristle brush, and I'll brush it a little bit more. It's coming out just fine. And then I use the soft one. Okay, now that's the inside, but I also need to make sure I hit underneath here. Oh, you can tell I didn't sew that down, right? Um, I like to make sure because I put these pleats over the edge of the skirt deliberately so that this part would catch the dirt and hopefully not so much the synthetic pleating, which I'm looking at it and it's really nice, but I want to make sure that the 
fabric is nice and tidy too. And I know it doesn't come up on camera very well, but I will tell you that that dust really kicked up as I was brushing it. So I know that it's coming out of the fabric. Now, I used recycled sheets for the interlining, so you can definitely tell it's a recycled garment. But I'm just going to clean up this hem, fold it up, make sure that I hit the underside as well. And if there's anything caught in there, I like to make sure it's got. And most of the time, this does the trick. If you brush your skirts on a regular basis when you've worn them out and it's dusty, it really does prolong the life of your skirts. Now, I've learned this just because I wear my stuff on a daily basis. So, I'm treating it like, if you go back and look at some of the household accounts, they tell you to brush your skirts, brush your clothing. And I didn't know what that meant until I started looking up, well, what are some of the things that you would have as a woman as part of your clothing, you know, accoutrements, things that go with your clothing. And one of the things that came coming up was clothing brushes. And I started looking for them. And obviously, at a secondhand store, celluloid, that's what this stuff's called. Um, obviously, I'm finding them where people don't want them. They're really cheap. They're really inexpensive because people don't know what to use them for anymore. So go check out your local um, antique store and see if you can't find... See, I know this part's dusty. And it will liven up the color. I mean, the color, it's hard to see here because the camera has a hard time picking it up but it actually brightens that color just a little bit as I'm brushing the dirt off and then we're back to the beginning now so I know that the back side of this drags in the dirt a little bit so I'm going to look at the back side and I'm going to make sure that I have brushed all my pleats and tidied them up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to clip all these threads and I am done brushing my skirt. So hopefully that helps you and inspires you. Um, I know that this is something that I'm probably not going to want to wash wash in the washing machine because it's going to ruin my pleating. Um, so it's definitely a garment that when I wear I want to brush it clean. And that's how you do it.